welcome back. Scientific experiments are crucial in the ongoing war against disease and illness. However, not all experiments performed are easy on the eye. Considered barbaric, brutal or just downright dangerous, here are 10 of the most horrifying scientific experiments ever performed. In an attempt to study the causes and effects of clinical depression, psychologist Harry Hadlow separated young macaques from their mothers and placed them in a darkened cage completely alone. After 10 weeks, the monkeys grew psychotic and most victims couldn't be treated. Not much was learned. During World War II, the Japanese experimented on the native Chinese population, known as Unit 731. Slightly less well known than the Nazi experiments, the research methods used were horrifying. These included vivisection without anesthesia, induced gangrene, live weapons testing, germ warfare infections and much more. The doctors who performed these brutal procedures were offered immunity by General MacArthur of the USA in exchange for the data they collected during these experiments. The THN 1412 drug trial started in 2007. Meant as a leukemia treatment, all signs were positive. After extensive testing on animals, providing no fatal side effects, the drug was ready for human consumption. Patients were given doses 500 times smaller than that of the animals used in testing, so this should be extra safe, right? Wrong. The drug caused catastrophic organ failure in humans, leading to a prolonged, agonising death. This drug is now deemed unsafe for human consumption. American dermatologist Albert Kligman studied the effects of dioxin on living patients. Dioxin was the main ingredient in Agent Orange. The living patients were in fact inmates of several prisons across the country and they were completely oblivious to Kligman's extensive research. Many inmates were unknowingly infected with dioxin, athlete's foot and even herpes. Kligman died at the age of 94, preaching that he did nothing wrong. Continuing the theme of unsuspecting victims, Dr Cornelius Rhodes in the 1950s injected patients with actual plutonium to study the effects on the human body. The main effect of plutonium in the bloodstream is death. The helpless people he injected were in fact patients at his Chicago hospital. What is even more disturbing is the fact that he only injected people of Puerto Rican heritage. After completing yet another gruesome experiment where he injected people with live cancer cells, he is quoted to have said, The Puerto Ricans are the dirtiest, laziest, most degenerate and thievish race of men ever to inhabit this sphere. I have done my best to further the process of extermination by killing off eight and transplanting cancer into several more. Sentenced to be executed in October 1938, John Deering agreed to have a heart monitor strapped to his chest as the firing squad shot him. This experiment was the first of its kind. After the sheriff gave the order for the squad to fire, John's heart rate briefly shot up to 180 beats per minute. As the four bullets hit his chest, one tore through the right hand side of his heart. The reading on the electrocardiogram stated that his heart spasmed for 4 seconds after being shot. It then continued beating for 15.4 seconds, gradually coming to a complete stop. In 1999, Dr. Yang Dan anaesthetized the cat then chemically paralysed it. She then bore into the cat's head and fixed electrodes to the image processing part of the cat's brain. As the cat awoke from its anaesthetised state, the cat was forced to look at images of trees and people. The images the cat could see were then transmitted to a screen across the room, a disturbing glimpse into what a cat's eyes can see. In 1943, the US Navy began running tests on the notorious chemical weapon of World War I, mustard gas. To test this, the Navy approached a group of 18-year-old recruits, asking them if they would like to participate in an experiment that will help shorten the current war. 
Upon arrival of the research lab, the boys were then told that the test involved mustard gas and if they were to back out, they would be threatened with espionage. The boys entered the lab and underwent exposure to the gas. Upon exiting, they were covered in severe burns, externally and internally. During the Cold War, prisoners were subject to experimentation without their knowledge. These tests were conducted by the Soviet secret police in the aims of creating a perfect poison that would both be odourless and tasteless. The chemicals used included mustard gas, ricin and digitoxin. After extensive research, the secret police came up with a winning formula, simply known as C2. According to witnesses, this poison caused dramatic physical changes to the victim, including growing shorter in height, before dying within 15 minutes of consumption. The Nazis performed an overwhelming amount of human experiments during the course of World War II. These included freezing. Doctors submerged victims in icy cold water for up to five hours to study the effect of sub-zero temperatures on the human body. Twins. In an effort to quickly multiply the German race, Dr. Joseph Mengele performed inhumane tests of up to 1,000 pairs of twins found in Auschwitz. Over 800 pairs did not survive the experimentation, and those that did were quickly disposed of with an injection of chloroform straight to the heart. Tuberculosis. Believing that some people had a natural immunity to TB, Dr. Kurt Heismeyer injected the disease directly into the lungs of victims at the Noongam concentration camp. Over 200 people died. Seawater. Believing that seawater was in fact drinkable, a group of German scientists forced 90 prisoners to drink nothing but seawater. After being deprived of everything but salt water, the prisoners were caught licking the freshly mopped floor in an attempt to get just a small amount of fresh water. That's all for tonight. Don't forget to support us on Patreon for some unique rewards. Follow us on Twitter and make sure you like, share and subscribe for more New Fusion action. I've been CJ. Sleep tight. <laughs>